because the Arctic is the most rapidly warming part of the planet at the moment, we're seeing temperatures which we probably haven't seen for 6,000 years, maybe in some cases 10,000 years. And so we're entering a place where natural systems behave quite differently from what they did 20 years ago. And we have to try and understand what the implications of those changes are for uh, both the Arctic itself, but also the world more, more generally. And the ice cores help to fill in some of the gaps that exist in the, the direct observations. And it turns out that the, the period that's covered by a 20 meter core, which goes back into the 60s, turns out to be a really interesting period in terms of Arctic climate, because we've seen very strong summer warming, particularly since the late 1990s. More recently, we've started to work on the record of organic contaminant deposition in these ice cores. Many of these contaminants are used at low latitudes and they circulate around the world and eventually they get removed from the atmosphere. So not surprisingly, we get a record of contaminant deposition in the upper layers of the ice caps. We can figure out maybe where these things came from and we can also try to quantify the inventory of contaminants in the ice, which eventually at some point is gonna come back into the environment uh, as it's already happening with things like PCBs, DDT that we used in the 60s stored in ice and now we're finding them in runoff again.